What's going on, internet? Eric Bandles here, founder of Beard Brand, and today I am sharing with you the best travel tips, tricks, and hacks to make sure your grooming can stay on point wherever you may travel. Okay, guys, I am a frequent traveler. In fact, I am a Delta Diamond Medallion. That is their highest tier of traveling. And uh, I've learned a few things over the years on how to best travel. So the first things first, if you are a novice traveler or maybe you only do one trip a year, or if you travel by car, a lot of these tips are probably not gonna be for you. But if you're new to traveling, you may be traveling more frequently, I wanna share with you the things that I've done that really make my life a lot better, a lot easier. The first thing is your dot bag. If you travel a lot, it makes sense to invest in a good dot bag. One that has water resistant or waterproof lining on the inside will help protect uh, against your clothes getting destroyed. As much as we love to uh, say no spills and leaks happens, if you're a frequent traveler, you know that just sometimes they happen. And I wanna talk a little bit later about how to protect yourself from that going forward. But a good dot bag is going to be kind of like your first line of defense. It's gonna to be tough, it's gonna to be durable, it's not gonna to get torn up, it's not gonna leak, and um, it's gonna help protect your clothes. So grab a good dot bag. Now the biggest hack and the biggest tip that I learned over the years was basically you have your at-home toiletries and then you have your dot bag toiletries. They're different, you have two of them. So I have two toothbrushes, I have two toothpaste, I have two uh, pocket combs, two of everything, and Everything is going to be in my dot bag at all times, and I just grab it and throw it in my bag and go. I don't have to worry about moving my toothpaste or moving my toothbrush and packing my dot bag as well as packing my luggage and my, uh, my travel clothes and stuff like that. Now, what you take in your dot bag really depends on how long the trip is. If it's a shorter trip for me, I tend to have a more basic collection, and if it's a little bit longer, uh, I may throw a few extra things in there uh, to make sure that I'm covered. But let's go ahead and look in my dot bag and I can show you kind of a lot of the basics that I have. Again, everything fits in here. Okay, when I'm doing a longer trip, here's my full dot bag. I've got my dental floss, my conditioner, my shampoo, toothpaste. This is uh, over 3.4 ounces, but if I lose it, it's pretty easy to find toothpaste. Manual toothbrush prototype beard oil, uh, headache medicine, got a razor, got some sea salt spray, styling balm, deodorant, I've got my utility bar, I've got my comb, and then I got a pair of scissors. So this is pretty much everything that I'll need. I don't take with me a clippers or trimmer. I'll typically do that before my trip, and if I need to trim it up, that's why I use the scissors. Everything here is friendly, you'll see they're all 100 mil, 3.4 ounces or smaller and uh, the, the blades on the scissors are uh, within the TSA standards. So, uh, a couple important things about this setup. If I'm going on a shorter trip, what I'll do is I will remove my shampoo and my conditioner, pull that here, and I will also probably remove my sea salt spray and kind of go with a little more utilitarian or a little bit more basic collection. It's really optional. If it can all fit in your bag, it all fits in your bag. But the less, in my opinion, is always the better. So it's either pull it out and then put it back in when, when you're done traveling, or uh, keep it all in your bag. It's all kind of your own preferences. Okay, let's talk about my minimalist stock bag. Uh, the most important thing is my soap. And I'm a big fan of the utility bar. If you guys don't know about the utility bar. It's an amazing product. It's well used, but what I want to show you is this container, while it being square, can hold a brand new bar. So just right out of the package, look here, you just drop it in, fits in perfectly, close it. Now the important thing to remember with this bar is you do not want water in the bottom of this tray. If you have any kind of water in here, it's gonna really erode uh, the quickness as to how long this bar is gonna last. So what I normally do is 
Uh, whenever I am in the shower, if it's laying here, I'll push the bar down, tilt all the water down, and then drop it and cover it. And then that's gonna help minimize the amount of water that gets in here and prevent the bar from going away quickly. Now the best thing about using the utility bar is that this bar can be used for a beard wash, it can be used as a shampoo. I tend to have oily hair, so conditioning is not as important for me as maybe someone with really curly hair. In that case, you may wanna consider bringing a conditioner in as well as your utility bar. Beautiful thing with this is it's also a bar, so you don't have to worry about the liquids or about it uh, spilling as you travel. In addition to that, you see I have a razor here, but there's no shaving cream. This has a glide lather with it, and the glide lather is a very light lather, so you can see your lines really easily, but uh, it doesn't like create that really thick foam that prevents you from getting good lines, but it has this super slick uh, texture to it, so your, your blade will really glide and it will help you keep sharp lines while you're traveling. The other thing I wanted to point out is with my scissors here. You'll notice that there are a fair amount of rust marks on the blade right here. And uh, the reason is I used to have a, this is a beard brand prototype. I used to have a, um, a little plastic sleeve that I kept in there. And what happened is in that plastic sleeve, there was a little bit of water. Now this is a hard steel and unfortunately hard steels tend to rust a little bit easier. Um, so what you wanna do is really make sure that either your dot bag is dry and free from water or you wanna make sure that um, you're keeping it in a container that of course is free from water as well. But uh, if you can see the blade itself uh, has no rust on it and so it cuts perfectly fine. But for cosmetics reasons, Keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna repack this up and I wanna show you a little bit of special trips on how to prevent leakage within your dot bag. So if you're a newbie to traveling, you know that pretty much the easiest way to prevent leakage is grab yourself a little bag, Ziploc it, close it up, you're good to go. This is kind of like the novice uh, way to do it. I think there's a, a couple of better ways to do this. So, Rather than doing that, what I would suggest you trying to do is grab your product, screw off the top, and get yourself some saran wrap. And then apply the saran wrap to the bottle, screw it down, and what you'll have is no leakage at all. So this is a great way to really prevent your product from exploding. If you're traveling by car, you don't really have to worry about this, but every time that you go in the plane, you do have that pressure change. And with that pressure change, it causes expansion of the air and the product, and that will cause it to blow out. And so something like this is a cheap, easy way to protect your goods. But here's a problem, is you can get blowout with your toothpaste, you can get blowout um, with like a sea salt spray material. So, um, well I guess this could work for the sea salt spray and really the toothpaste. But the challenge is like, once you've taken it off, you've used the product, then you're kind of left with something like this and it's gross and you keep it and you're not taking this with you all the way across the nation. An alternative tip to that is keep some Teflon tape with you. So if you keep Teflon tape with you, it's small, it's easy to contain, and what you can do is essentially wrap, go ahead and you wrap the cap. And this is another good way to help protect your, your products from leaking. So you keep it tight. Depending on the shape of the bottle, you may wanna do a little more around the neck than just the cap. But uh, when you're done with that, you simply just rip it off, throw that away, and keep your tape and your dot bag, and it's ready for rewrapping.
So there you have it. Those are my travel tips when it comes to dealing with your grooming products while on the go. Hope you guys learned a couple things. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. Keep on growing. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.